Madam. What is it? Somebody brought this. For me? Yes, ma'am. I don't know. Can't stop thinking about you. Wanna do lunch wherever you like. Around the living room. Okay. Make sure I don't what? Make sure you don't hide outside the sitting room. Of course I won't. Okay. Okay. Then one. Can you see? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Search for me. Look for me. Two. At the sound of my voice, just look for me. Wait. Oh, what, what did you just do? Uh, no, 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 no. Did you just... Move. One. Okay. Two. Mm -hmm. Go. Three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was he faithful? <sighs> yes. As a matter of fact, he's, he, he was one of the most faithful men ever. When I realized I was falling for him, I tried setting him up with my cousins, with some of my friends, and he passed it on. Because I wanted to be sure if he wanted me or if he wanted me because of my father's fortune. And apparently, he wanted me for me. Oh. Well, so what happened? Well, he lied to me. He's a liar. I found out that he wasn't the owner of the car he was driving or the house he was even living in. Why would he lie to me, you know? Oh. Paul. For the last time, the house you live in and the car you drive, who does it belong to? It belongs to my boss. What? Wait, wait. You work for someone? Yes, I do. As what? A driver. What? A, wait, wait, wait. A driver? Did I hear you well? A common driver? For so now. You mean you are a common driver? Just a common driver? For now, I've been trying to secure a reasonable job, but that has been impossible. Oh and instead of staying idle, I decided to manage this one. Oh my God. Are you, are you hitting for me? Oh Jesus. Are you hitting for me? So you knew all this while that you were a common driver and you couldn't even tell me? You couldn't come out to tell me? Why couldn't you tell me that you're just a common driver? You never asked me. Oh, God. You mean you were waiting for me to ask you before you could tell me what your miserable life looked like? I beg your pardon. You heard me. So you knew all along that you were just a common driver and you hid it from because you did not want me to know. You knew very well that in my wildest dream would I ever talk to your kind. Oh God, what am I even wasting time? Why? You know what? Get out. I hear you serious right yes, now. Yes, you heard me. Get out. Get out of my house and please never return. 
You're breaking up with me over what? He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. So you want me to spell it out to you? You want me to spell it out to, 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 to feed your dumb head, right? Okay, you are not in my class. That's what it is. I cannot have my friends and my family know that I am dating a common driver. It cannot work. It just cannot tally. I get it, Beatrice. And that is why I started putting my credentials out again. As I speak right now, I have a couple of interviews to attend. And who knows, I might just be lucky to get one of it. I don't really care. Alright? Save that to the mountains. Please get out of my house. And I told you, don't return. Get out. Please don't do this. I already did. Don't do this. Just because I'm not in your class today does not mean I cannot be in your class tomorrow. Or even above your class. Above my class? Did I hear you well? <laughs> Not in your wildest dream. Did you hear me? Get out. Please. Get out. What are you waiting for? Paul, you are beginning to disgust me right now. Get out before I do something I would regret. Please close the door. Thank you. I want to drive through Cali. Counting billions. Thirty billion. I serve the IP. Nobody can stop my life. What the shit is this? What more can I get? What more can I get? You know, wrap my head around this. I'm still processing it, honestly. I am still processing mm. it. But wait, 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 wait. You mean you broke up with him just for that singular reason? I guess then I couldn't help it. Babes, mm. you let go of a good guy. I, I mean, know. you didn't foresee the future. I didn't. Just from what I saw, that guy looked wealthy, like well put together. Like a guy most girls would want to be with. But who sees the future? Do you? Anyways, it's done. It's done. The deed is done, done already. Done. Yeah. So. How's the journey? It was good. It was, it was, hmm? it was not too so stressful, right? No, no, no. A little bit stressful, yeah. Hmm. Oh, what? what are you talking about? Oh. I was the one driving. You were just sleeping in the car. How is that stressful? <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, meet my friend Vivian. Vivian, my childhood friend Jude, and his brother. Hello. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Um, so um, is she here yet? Of course. She should be in her room. Should be. Mm -hmm. Are you still ignoring her? Please, no. We're cool now. Are you sure? Of course. Only that I'm cross at heart that she stole my best friend's heart. <laughs> uh uh. You will have to forgive her because of me. Uh, okay, it's okay. Forgiving her. Really? Mm hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I guess you will see her at lunch. Lunch? Yes. We're having lunch today. Because I just want us to get together, you know, get to know each other, catch up before the party. Wow, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Lunch, <laughs> lunch. <laughs> okay, then, I'll take you guys to your room, okay? Wow, well, um, 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 bro, uh, our bags, you know, they're yeah, still in the car. Yeah, uh, we still have our bags in the car, so oh, we have oh, to go get them. Okay. You, you're gonna come? Let's go get Yeah, sure, all right, let's go. <laughs> I wanna drive through Cali, counting billions, 30 I serve the IP, nobody can stop my ride Every day I'm pumping champagne with my van Bad energy stay far away I just wanna fly away I'm Oh my god, I'm super excited Take Come care. on guys The keys please Thank you 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 Thank you
Okay. What upstairs? Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm pretty and so fresh. I don't wanna have no stress. Life is beautiful. Can I wake up with some fresh? Ah, ah, ah. I just wanna jungle over. Jungle over. Your towel and toiletries is in the bathroom. In case you need any other thing, do let me know. Of course, I will let you know. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cool. So, shall we? I'll take you to yours. Really? Mm -hmm. I have a separate room? Of course. Your brother's fiancé is around and you know very well that they'll be doing some doing things. Really? Okay. Stop being crazy, bitch. What is the truth? Isn't it? <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get your point now. I, I told you to behave yourself. Uh, but I won't be here, that's why I want to leave the room for you and your fiance. <laughs> Lest I forget, lunch is in two hours, so please be ready. Right oh, on time. Yeah, I like that, I like okay. that. I can't wait. Thank you very much. I can't wait for that lunch. Shall we? That's all you know, food, food, food. Dude, food, Make yeah. Make yourself comfortable, right. right, man. I'll be in my own room. Come get out. Yeah, so if you need anything, just let me know. Your towel and toiletries is in the bathroom, so okay. make yourself comfortable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I got you anytime, right. buddy. No problem. Thank you. And don't forget to get ready on time for lunch. Oh, that's yeah? sure okay. we. Okay, so right. yeah. I have the keys. Oh, the keys. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I know you're in the content for your day. All right, uh, see you. I don't want to have no stress. Life is beautiful. Can I wake up with some fresh? Ah, ah, ah. I just want to jungle over. Jungle over. Jungle over. I just want to jungle over. Lunch is in two hours, so you better be ready. Okay, yeah? Um, sure, sure, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. I mean, why wouldn't I be fine? Because you don't seem to be happy to hear that your man is here. Oh, yeah, yeah, my man. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, I'm fine. <sighs> anyway, you'll be good. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> No way. This can't be his house. Oh, he's got a Rolls Royce too. Gosh, let me call my cousin. I can't believe this. Hey, cuz. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. This one you remembered me today. What are you up to? <laughs> You're not serious. I'm just checking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, cause guess who I ran into this morning? Who? Just guess. Donald Trump? You're not serious. Can you stop it? I bumped into Paul. Which Paul? Paul, your friend. Oh, Paul is in the country? Wow, I better call him before he heads back again. I don't understand. Doesn't he stay in the country? You don't know? No. Know what? His company relocated him to America, where their head office is in California. You don't say. Paul is a big boy now. I think he's the director of the multi-million dollar company. Yes. He stays there with the wife and the kid abroad. I better call him before he heads back again, please. No, no, no. But you, you know you have to... 
Hello? Hello? Oh god, this boy. Babe, at least I, I have a judicious work to do. You're gonna keep quiet at me like this? Beatrice. 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 Can I kill her? No. I want to close my door. Babe, look. Beatrice. to tell you. Don't allow this man into my house. Yes, ma'am. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Make sure you lock the gates. Yes, ma'am. Hey! Look, Babus! Don't, don't touch me if again! If you move! If you touch me! Beatrice! 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 Babe! Babe, come on! Open this gate! Beatrice, come on, babe! Open this gate! Beatrice! Babe! I love you! Come on, babe! I love you! What else can a man ask for? What's X? Hey, open this gate! Open this gate! Idiots! Beatrice! He's a cheap liar that is claiming to be who he's not. You, you of all people know how much I hate fake people. Tell him to leave me alone. Tell him to stop throwing himself at me. I'm not interested. Whatever I had with him was a mistake. I am not interested any longer. Michael, please get this into his skull. Please, I'm done. I'll talk to you later, Michael. Hello? Hello? I, I have a good news for you. Good news, huh? Yes. I just got a job. Uh, what makes you think I care, Paul? Because you genuinely care about me and that feeling is mutual. Listen, you are nothing to me. You know in my class, I'll advise you lose my number. Really, it will help both of us. Even though I'm in love with you, 
Caleb means nothing to you. You're not in my class. Caleb means you're not in my class. Bitch, you, you can't be the shallow. You can call me all you want, but I will not have you come here to insult me. So you're willing to lose a good man? A decent and faithful man just because I am not in your class? Your love means nothing to me. Don't you understand? You are not in my league. Wow. I was going to tell you this, but never mind. It is a shame that you are one of those ladies who base their choices of a life partner based on the abundance of what they have. You know what, my dear? Marriage and relationship based on the possession of a man would definitely crumble. To crumble in sorrow and pain in the long run. What do I know? I am just nobody. But remember what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29? A man who was diligent in his job would sit among kings. Not just men, kings! Are you done with your sermon? Fine. I guess this is goodbye. I wish you the very best in life. I thought you all my friend. Wretched man. Look at him. You want to marry into a wealthy home, right? You have to work for it. Lazy man. Just nobody. But remember what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29? A man who was diligent in his job would sit among kings. Not just men, kings! I can't believe this. Honestly, I can't believe this. So, Paul is now the director of an international multi million dollar company? Honestly, I underestimated this guy. Look at him. Look at him happily married with a kid. And look at me. In a relationship, I don't even know where it's heading to. Oh, this guy is handsome, sure. I've been with Maxwell for two years now. And he's not showing any sign of making a serious commitment to me. I can't continue to wait for him to make the move. They said if the mountain cannot move to Mohammed, then Mohammed will move to the mountain. If I want this relationship to move to the next level, then I have to be the catalyst to do that. I know what I have to do. I know what to do. Oh, my friend. 
I got you. 